Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make these large flower seed beads earrings. They're easy to make and I'm showing you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't then hit the bell button. In this way you will be notified when I release new videos absolutely free twice a week and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I have similar earrings but in a triangular shape and with more colors and I'll link to them here at the eye icon if you want to support me you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below i will be so happy to see your creations and one more advice if you make this pattern with HO beads this will look like a bigger pendant and you could combine it with smaller earrings okay uh, down there in description I'm posting a full list of materials, a link to my store and Amazon links where you could buy supplies from. You could also find a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so for this video what I'm going to use are three colors of 11 seed beads. Here I use ear wire. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. I prefer to use monofilament because I want my earrings to be firm and this is size 10 beading needle and scissors and i'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and i'll be back okay guys and i'm back and i'm going to take 16 of these beautiful silver beads Okay, and I have 16 here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here I want to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop going twice with my tail thread through this loop I've made and I pull, okay, like this. Then I will make one more knot just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure. And I will make sure I'm between those two beads where I started this knot from and pull. Okay, now I have a circle of beads here. Okay. And what I want to do in my next step is go through some beads in this direction. And I will start my work, okay? I'm taking two red beads. And as I'm exiting from this silver, I'm going back through this silver again. And pull. Then I'm going through the following two beads, okay. Okay, these beads are connected to this silver bead. Now, uh, I'm exiting two beads away from this one, taking two black beads, and I'm going back through this same silver I'm exiting out of. Okay, and this is what I have. And you see I have one sil silver bead distance between the beads that I'm using to attach more beads to. Okay, now I'm going again through two beads in this direction. And I take two red beads. Okay, go back through this one and if you want to save time, Go also through the following two beads after the one you're going around. Okay. Two black beads. Go back through this one and through the following two. And pull. 
and it's really easy. I'm going to do this until the end of this row. Okay, now I'm here and I have one bit away from these beads, okay, and I want to exit in my red bead here. I have four reds and four black beads, okay, and now I will take one silver and as I'm exiting from this red one, I will take one silver and go through the black. This is what I do. Now I'm exiting out of this black one and I'm going to take three black beads and go through the other black and also in the red. Okay, this is what I have. And I will take one silver, go through the red and through the following black. Take three black beads, go through the black and through the following red. Take one silver, red and black. Three black beads black and red one silver red and black and then again I'm taking three black beads okay and exit out of the next red one okay now here guys, in my next step, I'm going to add only red beads. And I'm going to take five red beads. Okay, I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this red bead, I'm going through this one. And also through the following black. Okay, I want to fix it. Fix those five beads. Okay, and what I want to do is go one more time around this black one. Go here in the next red one. If you can't do this in one movement, do this in two or more movements. Okay. Now I'm going to take five beads. Okay, I have five and I'm going in the following red and in the black one. I pull and I fix. And I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and I just finished this row and what I want to do is exit again here through those black beads and exit out of this black bead that's sticking out. And now I'm going to take three silver beads 
and I, I will go through this red one that's one bead beneath the, the bead that's sticking out. Okay, the one that's sticking out the most, the one under this. And then I'm going through the one that's sticking out the most and through the following bead. In fact, I'm going through these top three beads here. And take three beads and go through the one that's sticking out. Three more beads and go through the top three beads in this flower. Okay. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay hey guys, and now I have this, and in my next step I will go here through the first silver bead and I'm going to take three silvers and I will go through the following silver and also if you can go in the next red one. Okay, now I have this and now I'm exiting out of this red one and I'm going to take five black beads. Okay, here I have my five. And I will go, I will skip the this one here, the red one in the middle. And I'm going to pull. Okay, now this is what I have. And I will go in the next silver. Okay, then I'm going to take three silvers like that and as I'm exiting from the first silver I'm skipping the middle one and going through the following. Okay, now this is what I have. I'm exiting out of this black one and I will go in the next silver. Everywhere where I have silvers, I will add three more silvers, skip the middle one and go through the third one. And everywhere where I have reds, I will take five black beads like this, five. And I will skip the middle red one and go through the following red. Okay. And I'm going to continue this off camera. Silver, silvers, black, silver, silvers, five black, silver. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm here where I'm adding my last three silver beads. And now this is what I have. And if you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and see how I did the first part and then continue the same way or just pause this video and use it as a pattern. Okay. Now what I want to do as I'm exiting from this black one is to reach here the top silver bead of my next triangle. Okay, top silver bead. And here between the silver and the black, what I need are three red beads, okay? And I will go again one bead under this one at the angle that's sticking out. Okay. Then I'm going here again one bead after the angle and I'm going to take three red beads and go here through this 
sticking silver bead. Okay, don't worry if your work bends at this stage, we'll fix it perfectly later. Okay, and now between the silvers, I need three again, but this time I'm going to take black beads. And I will go here through the next bit that's sticking out. Again, between silver and black, I will take three beads three red beads and I will go through the one that's just under the angle bead then again through the one that's just under the angle bead and now here I take three red beads and I go through the one that's sticking out Then I take three black beads and I go through this silver here and I will take reds again under this one here. Okay, and I'm going to continue this the same way and um, I will do this off camera and I'll meet you here. Okay guys, and I'm here at my last three beads. And I'm adding my last three black beads. If you forgot how I did it, rewind this video and see how I'm doing this. Or just pause this as a pattern and repeat this the same way. Okay? And now guys, here... I'm doing almost the same thing like I did before. I'm going through the first red bead of these three reds that I just added. I'm taking three more new red beads and skipping the middle one and going through the next red. And this makes a beautiful angle here. Okay, then I'm going through those black beads. Exit out of my next red one take three red beads go through the following red skipping this red in the middle in this way I'm forming something like a triangle okay then I will go through the next black bead and guess what here I will take three black beads skip the one in the middle and add them here okay now this is what i have and i want to exit through my next red bead and i'm taking three red ones skipping the one in the middle And these three beads that are forming something like an angle here, I'm going to skip and go in the next red one. Okay. Here I'm going to take three red beads, skip the one in the center, and I'm going to exit out of my next black bead here. And here where the flat black beads are from my last row, I'm going to add three black beads to them. Skip the one in the middle and go in the following. Then go through the silver and exit out of the next red. Take three red beads. Skip one red and go through the following. And I'm going to skip these three where one of my blacks is sticking out. And um, I will continue this. Three reds, three blacks, three reds, skip, three reds, three blacks. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and when I continue doing the same way, I'm adding my three last black beads from this row. Okay. And now I have my element almost ready. 
But what I want to do additionally is add my ear wire. And in order to do this, I'm going here in this direction through some beads because my goal is to exit through one of my black triangles that are sticking out, but not these ones, but this one that are sticking out the most. Okay. Exit here at the angle. Okay, and in order to attach my ear wire, I'm going to take it and take one silver bead here on my needle. And I'm going here through my ear wire. Slide it down. Take one more seed bead. Slide it down as well, like this. And then I'm going back through this black one here. Okay. Now I have my ear wire attached. And I'm going to go several times around these beads here, reinforcing this joint. Okay, and I'm going here after these two black beads, like that. After I reinforced my work several times, and I'm making a knot by making here a loop and going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made. I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from. Then I will go through the following seed beads and cut my thread. If you want, you could do more and more knots. Okay. And now guys, my earring is ready. Hey guys, and now my earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh beading ideas. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action. And if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials, please share them on my Facebook page that I posted below this video. I will be so happy to see your creations. Down there in description, you will find a full list of materials a link to my store, a link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and links for Amazon where you could buy supplies from. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.